during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about soil testing in some less common areas, like let's say your lawn or your pasture. All right, here we go, Brian. This big discussion here about lawn fertility. And I talk to people all the time that say, well, what do you mean? I just get a bag of fertilizer at the hardware store and I spread it out on my yard and I'm good. And I ask them, well, what rate do you use and what particular nutrients are in the fertilizer? The answer that I get often is, well, I don't know. I buy step one. I don't know what's in it. It's just the first thing you're supposed <laughs> now, to do in the spring. You said lawns. It's really not that much different for pastures, although people do know what they're putting on. And guess what? They're just putting on nitrogen. Yes, nitrogen is super important for grass, but that's not everything. You've got to look at all the nutrients because here's the whole thing. Whether you are a homeowner or you have pasture land, you don't want to spend any more money than necessary and you want your lawn or pasture to look as good as possible. If you look at it from the pasture perspective, be as productive as possible. Well, the only way you're gonna do that is if you balance your nutrients. Unless you've got this huge, massive estate, you probably don't need to grid soil sample your lawn. Let's just say that you've got a lawn that's 20 feet by 30 feet, <laughs> pulling one sample is probably representative Yeah, but let's enough. face it, a lot of people have a front yard and a backyard, right? Well, the backyard sometimes might sit down in a swamp or it might be on a hill. I'm just saying it might be different than the front lawn. So all we're saying here is when you have different areas, I don't care how big the size is we're talking about, whether this is pastures, lawns, or your field. We want to sample the different areas with topography and soil type separately. So for your lawn, yes, you might take one sample in the front yard, one sample in the backyard. Let's just take a look at those, see what they look like. In a pasture situation, if it was me, I'd either grid sample it or I would zone soil sample it. And I absolutely would not do a composite test. So let's say I had a quarter section that was all pasture. I'm not going to go out there, pull some samples and blend them all together. That tells me nothing. That tells me the average of the whole thing. That doesn't help me when I'm fertilizing. What I'm after is in each individual area, how am I doing there for fertility and what do I need there for the best fertilizer products to give me the best return on investment? All right, it doesn't have to be that complicated for your lawn. Let's just say you had a front lawn and a back lawn that are totally different. Nope. Take two samples, but make sure you send in a complete sample. Before we get to that complete sample thing, we got to talk about how you're even going to soil test. So Darren said pull a test from your front yard, backyard. What you're after here is we want to pull about eight different cores. So we want to keep these cores close together, whether you're in a lawn, pasture, field, I don't care. Basically, you go to a spot, you've got a soil probe, you're going to go probably six inches deep. That's what most people will do. You're going to put that probe down in the soil six inches, dump that in a bucket, and you do eight of those just right in a little circle. Then you can either blend that together if you want to, or most labs will blend it for you. So you dump that in a sample bag, send it in. All right, now when I mentioned a complete soil analysis, what we really want to see is not just nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. We want to see all the micronutrients and secondary nutrients as well. It doesn't cost a lot of money. In many cases, you're going to spend around $30 to get this complete analysis. And you'll also get recommendations from the lab as far as, well, how much should I apply for a lawn or for a pasture? Yeah, so you could spend a little bit less money if all you tested was N, P, and K. But sulfur, calcium, magnesium, the secondary nutrients, are super important. And then you've also got the micronutrients, super important. Now, it's interesting, very often we'll hear from people who have pastures or lawns, and they'll say, well, I don't want to spend that much on fertilizer. I'm not even suggesting you spend any more than normal. I'm just asking you to spend it on the right things. Maybe you need a little bit less nitrogen and a little bit more boron or zinc or copper or sulfur. I don't know exactly what you need unless I see that soil test. So to sum things up here, soil testing is not just for farmers in their crop fields. It's for you if you own any property, whether it's a lawn or a pasture. Take good soil samples so you can put the nutrients that your crop or your lawn or your grass needs. Well, one of the things your crop, your lawn or grass always needs is better weed control. We're going to talk about how to stop our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.